o'clock. Really? You're just starting it out. Eight o'clock on the dot. Eight o'clock on the dot. Oh, you and the hats, I swear. We're getting rid of all hats. After? Really? <laughs> it's Saturday evening. Saturday night. Saturday night live. Re Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Welcome fellow resellers of the world. Resellers of the world. Yep. How's everybody doing tonight? Did you all have a good day? Did you have a good day today? I did have a good day today. Yeah? About froze to death, but I had a good day today. It was, what was it, single digit wind chills today? It was. And we spent the day outside. We did. Hey, Una Thrifts. Mimi, how are you guys doing tonight? Desperately need some motivation right now. Well, well. we're going to tell you what not to do tonight. So maybe that'll motivate you because you're doing better than we did. It's Saturday night. Happy Saturday. How was your field trip? Um, It was really, really good. We went and saw a World War I reenactment mm -hmm. today. And it was fun. It was just, it was very, very cold outside. Um... But it was very informative. It was cool to see. Yep, we saw the women's suffrage. Women's suffrage movement. So it was cool. Mm -hmm. it was and cool. I got to see all the cool stuff that I like. Yes, all the military mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And we learned all about the battles. and So yeah, it was fun. It was, but it was fun. very, very cold. The good guys and the bad guys. Yes, yes. The good guys versus the bad guys. That's what right. I kept telling our son. And then told me, no, it's not that. It's. The da 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 versus the da 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 Yes. Yes. That's kind of how we um, approach the the whole learning thing is um, we make them tell us what they know by kind of poking at them. Hmm. And he knows it now. Hey, Oakbrook, how are you tonight? So, yes, tonight. Hola. Hola. No, it says whole lot. You know, I just feel like there. That's you better. You feel like there? That's better. Thank you. Um, tonight, we are having a drink, and we are going to talk uh, Nolos. Nolos. Nolos, which um, he had more. He had a pair of down. It was really sad, you know, because he was like, oh, I just have so many, and you only have a few. Well, in my defense... <laughs> Totally I'm, I'm, I'm starting this out in my defense. Oh, we already have an excuse. All right, all right, let's hear it. What's the excuse already? We're going to auction all of this off. We are. For a good cause. The hat for, he is wearing is a Nolo. We will get there. For? Um. So, I think she's in the chat. Uh, there is a member of our reselling squad community, Tamara Lou Thrifts, whose grandson has leukemia. And never realized how long your hair is. Thank you. Um, her grandson has leukemia. Mm -hmm. And so we knew that we wanted to take all of our NOLOs and auction them off this time. We're going to do a 99 cent plus shipping auction, give all the proceeds to charity. Uh, so I reached out to her and said, is there a charity that has really helped Grayson that we could donate in his honor? And so there, there is um, a charity called Cure Childhood Cancer. Cure Childhood Cancer. Thank you. Based out of based out of Atlanta, Who Georgia. Um, and they eBay has a great charity program called eBay for Charity where you can set up a any listing to donate either a percentage or all of the proceeds to that charity and it goes directly to them then. Um, so all of the proceeds from our no lows that we auction off will go to cure childhood cancer in Grayson's honor. So, um, so some of the stuff I picked, I grabbed extra because it's going for a good, good cause. cause. It's not because it's all bad. And yeah, so we'll get to, um, it, it really does have value. Mm -hmm. And so, um, before we drink too much of this drink, mm -hmm. the auction will start Tomorrow night, which is Sunday, so Sunday, April 8th, uh, we will start the auction. It'll run seven days, so until next Sunday, the 15th, mm -hmm. um, we will start it at 99 cents plus shipping, and um, 
touches home my childhood as a, oh, as a survivor. Oh, yeah. So I think that's something that touches a lot of us. Um, so yeah, so in Grayson's honor, we are going to run the charity auction. So do you want to start with your hat? Do I want to start with my hat? What's wrong with my hat? That would be the NOLO. NOLO number one. So NOLOs are things that we picked up that we thought were going to be great. And for whatever reason, they're not. They're not. For a myriad of different reasons that you will see. A myriad. Myriad. <laughs> myriad. Is that not? Sorry. Wow. Yeah, it's been a long day. All right. So this wonderful hat. I'm going to sell it to everybody. Oh, sell it, sell it, sell it. Sell it to everybody. Yeah, so they'll all want to go bid on the auction then. So this is a almost vintage. Almost vintage. Because it's got to be 20-year-old to be vintage. So that's true, that's true, that's true. I did the math really quick, okay? <laughs> almost I could be wrong vintage. on this. It's almost vintage. Super Bowl, Florida, January 28th, 2001, XXXV, 35. Who, who, who won the Super Bowl that year? Tampa, Florida. <laughs> it was in Tampa, Florida. I don't know who played in it. I don't know who won. I figured there was going to be some kind of collector who collected Super Bowl memorabilia over the years. More memorabilia years. Blame it on the drink. I was wrong. You were wrong. Wrong. You were wrong. 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 wrong, wrong. wrong. People do not collect Super Bowl memorabilia. Well, at least hats. I'm sure they collect something. I'm sure they do. I'm sure there are some. And maybe they do collect the hats. I don't know. But they don't collect this hat. Well, so. and um, as this hat, as with a lot of our NOLOs tonight, this was listed on eBay. When I went to go and pull it off of eBay, it was no longer even listed. Well, that's probably why it didn't sell. So, um, true story here. Maybe it is great. <laughs> And eBay just decided, we don't like it. That's true. And maybe your home team won this Super Bowl. And, and you, you really won and it. You and you remember set. the 2001 Super Bowl. And all the proceeds will go to Cure Childhood Cancer. Cure Childhood so. Cancer. <gasps> don't throw it. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. Oops. All right. I don't know. Um, all right, so that's going to count as two. No, so um, some of my no-lows come in multiples this week because when I do a NOLO you do it, you I do, do it right <laughs> jellies so um jellies right yeah why are they called jellies um I don't know they don't look like jelly no I don't why would you put jelly on your feet I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know so at some point I thought jellies mm -hmm. this was a good idea right they're brand new. We, we sold a couple of them, though. You had black ones and white ones. The black ones sold. Yes, the black ones sold. White ones? People don't want white ones for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, I bought not one. I bought two. I'm so jelly. <laughs> right? They're a size 10. Maybe you want to rock the jellies. They're American Apparel, which... I mean, really, I guess nobody wants American apparel. Nobody likes American apparel. I don't know. But, um, again, this is another item, though, that was listed on eBay when I went to go and end it. No longer listed. One of the most painful shoes I've ever owned. <laughs> Natalie, that's not selling these for us. That's not, that's not helping us. <laughs> um... You could own them, Natalie. You could you could own them. One size fits all. Your feet. If you're, if you're a size 10. If you're a size 10. Your feet would love you. I promise. Yes. These are um, not painful ones. These are the good ones. These are the good ones. These are the really good ones. <laughs> I I don't I don't know. So eBay decided that nobody wanted them and went ahead and ended the listing for me, which was um so nice of them. These are flat lettuce. Uh, flat cheese. <laughs> no. Lettuce. That's Italian for my <laughs> <friends. coughs> Um, The lettuce. The so lettuce yes. jellies. So the moral of the story here... But wait! <laughs> There's more. You get not one, but two! So um, evidently, jellies... Thank God I'm an eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> 
jellies. I bet you if you put them in the microwave, they'd shrink. Right, maybe. (laughs) Stinky, sweaty feet, yes. Nothing made your feet sweat (laughs) quite like jellies did. But if you'd like to relive the 80s and sweaty feet and you're a size 10, these could be yours. Or you could list them on eBay and hope that eBay didn't end the auction for you. I don't trust you throwing. It's probably a good idea that you don't. I don't. I don't. It's probably a very, very good idea. I'm going to do this one next. Okay. We did pick out equal amounts so that um, no one is actually going to win or lose, whatever. I don't think anyone can win at this one, baby. Uh, yeah. All right. So this is, there's a story. Pool or beach? Uh, all of mine have stories. Uh, all of you. All, all of, of mine. mine. All of mine have stories, too, of <laughs> why I thought mine, they were good. Mine are better stories. Okay. All I'm right. Get them with shower shoes. Ex officio. This is a brand... Two wait, wait ago. a minute. Ex officio is a brand we still buy. Why is this a no-lo? Oh, all right, all right. Mr. Amazing Taste. I, would you let me finish my story? No, please? I would not. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> You're happier when you drink. <laughs> Ex officio sold like hotcakes a couple of years ago for us. Yes, it did. Anything we bought, sold, 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 sold. Yes, true. True story. Not anymore. Not anymore. Their sports shirts... Still the button downs. The button downs, long sleeve with the vents in the back. Yes, the ones that are like for like live fishing. fishing. Yes. They still do pretty well. Yes. Polos, short sleeve, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. This one was still listed. It's even been listed on Poshmark. Nobody wants the yellow ex officio. It's dry release Polo. too. What does that mean? That means... If, 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 that all the sweat can just go to your shoes when you're wearing the jellies? Yes, when you're wearing the jellies. <laughs> you use it to wipe the sweat off your um, sweaty feet. If somebody wins the auction and wears the jellies and the ex officio polo shirt together, please do send a picture. And the hat. Because, it, yes, if you would you just... You could have a whole ensemble. If, if, if you would just... Yes. The, let, the lettuce jellies. <laughs> that would be awesome. I greatly appreciate that. Greatly. Greatly. All right, your turn. My turn, but I'm saving this one for last because it's my favorite. Because it's my favorite. Is it? Yes. So this shirt, seriously, I I don't know. I looked at you funny when you got it. I, but it still makes sense to me. The scary thing is I think I would buy it again. <sighs> That's scary. Yes. So this is the Mets yeah. spring training shirt. Again, new with tags, and tonight I'm wearing a Nolo by Amazing Taste, right? <laughs> Let's make it a thing. So it's new with tags. It's genuine baseball merchandise. Now, it's a women's, but I thought there had to be women who were baseball fans. I think it's just because the Mets stink. I, I think that's no, the problem here. Any of you from New York, don't. Don't upset our friends in New York, okay? Maybe there are Mets fans out there. Then why is spring training not good? Why does nobody... Do you pronounce fragile as fragile? It's (laughs) Italian, fragile. (laughs) Um, So yeah, I, I still don't know. I really thought that somebody was gonna love the Mets, it's spring training. I thought this time of year they're in spring training. The problem is it's this time of year or two years ago. We've been sitting on that shirt for like two years. So we've gone through not one but two spring trainings. I, I And it still hasn't sold. I love the Mets. See, then you should bid on the auction. And you know what? Maybe that Super Bowl hat, maybe a New York team won the Super Bowl that year. See? And it could be like a you whole... You could win. Real women prefer football. There's a reason why I don't know if the Mets stink or not. Now, I could probably tell you about the New York Jets, but the New York Mets? What's the other New York baseball team? The other New York baseball team? The Yankees. Okay. Pretty good. Yes, and if it was Yankees, I bet it would have sold. Really? Yeah. (laughs) Let's try that sometime. They rock. See? Then, yeah, I... I don't know. It could be yours. It could be yours. I got no clue on that one. I have no idea. Yeah, and the scary thing is I really think I would have picked <coughs> it up again. It's new with tags. 
Not everything new with tags is good. But therein lies the truth of the matter. Just because it's new with tags doesn't mean you should buy it. Just the Mets and the jelly. See, I want it. It's going up for auction, 99 cents, starting tomorrow night. Okay, this has to be Matt's worst buy ever. Bar none, the worst buy ever. I don't even have a story for it. <laughs> <laughs> the only story was we were at the bids and they were cheap. And I thought, this is why we can't go to the bins. And I thought somebody would want these. <laughs> now, why, night. <laughs> why I got six of them? So you'll not just get one. You're going to get six of them. All right. <laughs> it's his worst buy ever. We've been sitting on them forever. Nobody. Nobody. They, they get no hits. They get no watchers. These are... <laughs> what are they? Nobody even valve knows. They're valve-cover gaskets, okay? So... Seriously. If you're into, like... I contend they could be ginormous slingshots. <laughs> Somehow you could make it into a ginormous but slingshot. I have... Not one. Not two. Not three. Oh, no. When we go all in on it, <laughs> giant rubber bands, I have right? six of them. But they're like not even, I don't even know that they're like stretchy. They're almost like they're, cork or something. They, cork. they are cork. Oh, I've sold those with the valve cover. Now see, if you have. All right. So buy valve covers and then you could buy these and you have a complete set. And these are actually because I'm a car guy. Amazon. They probably would sell on Amazon. If somebody's an Amazon seller. They're new old stock. They're new old stock. They're sealed. Yes. And they're for a um, big block Chrysler. They're for an old car. So I think, I want to say it was a 440. Yeah, nobody cares. Chevrolet. Those are vintage dead stock. Yes, they are vintage dead stock. And that's what he was telling me in the store. They're vintage dead stock. They'll sell. No. I even wrote a good description for them, too. And I'm they serious. Won't. 2664. And you know what? That's not, They might sell. If you have relevancy in car parts, if you have that clientele, but our relevancy, and they are dead, um, our relevancy is not in car parts. So, um. Yeah. Big block Chrysler. Oh, Yes, 361, Craigslist. 383, 400, okay, 413, and 440 engines. Did you try Craigslist? No. Um, what does that mean, vintage dead stock? Vintage dead stock means it's still sealed. It's brand new in the package, but it's over 20 years old. Yeah. So. Um, and they're dead and they don't sell. We can't sell them. So um, you might be able to sell so now they are a necklace to wear with the jellies. Oh, see, you could so wear them as a necklace. Somebody could style that. Mm -hmm. We're going to be done super fast. you got to go a little slower. You want me to talk about it more? No, I don't want you to talk about it. I'll talk, talk about it more. Offer up. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure somebody, I'm going to get into car parts. You can bid on the auction. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll have win. six of them. Not five. But two hands. Six. <laughs> two hands. Six of them. Yes. Remember when your kids turn six and they... Two hands. Two hands. Speaking of children and bins and bad bins buys. And this is one of the reasons why we don't, <coughs> we don't like the bins. Because everything is so cheap. We just like, throw stuff in the car. It's like, gotta turn a profit on this. This was like... It's like 50 cents. 50 cents. Well, if you don't sell it... You ain't making a profit on it, no matter how little. You could have got it for free, and you're not making a profit on it. I was convinced that someone, somebody out there, was going to want their kid to learn another language. Now, so these are muzzy. I'll just, these are muzzy DVDs. It's the vocab, the parent, interactive. Okay. Well, did you teach your kid how to be a parent? <laughs> no, the it's, parent the, TVA. it's the parent guide. <laughs> For all your irresponsible parents, you can teach your kid how to be a parent. So you don't in have to anymore. Languages. In multiple languages. Hola. <laughs> El Parento. Um, yes, cheap or new with tags. Not always good. Exactly. This is the interactive language games. I mean, come on. 
Now, I have sold language. Oh, you have a story behind this one? Yes. I have sold language, like DVDs, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, for kids. Don't sell, don't sell Rosetta Stone. No, Rosetta Stone's a big no, no, no. But, hey, Daily Refinement. Um, we are talking, well, because he just came in. Oh. So to anyone who is just joining us, we are talking NOLOs. We are talking items that we bought thinking they were going to be great, and they're not. I remember those. They played that at my school when I was in kindergarten. So, hashtag mom resell. If you, you like. You could relive your youth. You could relive your youth at the 99 cent charity auction that will start tomorrow night. Um, so, but yes, I have sold uh, language DVDs for children in the past and done really, really well. I have a ton of those. Um, these, though, not. So much. But really, it's Spanish, French, German, Italian, American English, <laughs> American, and British English. American English and British English. I need to get someone to shop my warehouse. You just never know what will sell. Guarantee. Yes, very, very true. Did we figure out when these are from? But um, we don't sit on inventory. We are not. Is there any date on them? I don't think so. Hey, hashtag mom Risa, when we were in kindergarten. That's when they were from. <laughs> Chicago English. See, that would be an that would be one that somebody'd probably buy. Oh, I speak to Chicago English. Right? You just for words like y'all and ain't. Lettuce, lettuce shoes. <laughs> right? Chicago English. So I don't I um Alright, let's let's date these. Alright. What is he holding? She. Oh. When was yeah. the last time you seen someone actually use a camcorder? Yeah, I turned 29 this year. So like 20 years old. So it's vintage. So it's vintage. There you go. Do you guys Worth more? Do you guys just donate back inventory that doesn't sell? Sometimes. Sometimes. Generally speaking, we don't have knock on wood. We are very fortunate. We don't have a lot of stuff that doesn't sell. We sell most of our stuff occasionally we wind up with a NOLO. And um, a lot of times eBay just ends it for us and we don't even know that we have it anymore, which is awfully nice of them. But then we, now what do we do? We put it in a NOLO video and now we're gonna auction them off for charity because why not? Yes, it goes to a good cause. Why not? Yeah, so I don't know what the deal was with Muzzy. I still think, I, I still contend some Muzzy stuff sells. You contend all of your junk that's back there that hasn't sold sells. <laughs> but yet, here we are. But yet, here we are on a Saturday night and a little Talking video. about it, so. So, um, the moral of this story is you should really look stuff up, even if you're at the bins, and it's only going to cost you 50 cents. You should really still look stuff up before you buy it. Yes. yes. How long do you have it before it's a no-low? Um, so everything tonight, well, except for that item, which is only a month old, but it has a good story. Um, everything is like a year old. Except for the match shirt, which is like two years old. Except for the match shirt, which is two years old because and, I was holding out hope for and, the match. And the Super Bowl hat, I think, is like two years old. <laughs> I love you. Uh, so if they don't sell in that auction, that poor charity... <laughs> Oh, that would be so sad. You know what? If they don't sell at the auction, then we will just make a donation to the charity because I won't be able to not then make a donation to the charity. So guaranteed the charity is getting money. They'll sell. Um, jelly auction. Yeah. So everything that you see tonight will be in that one 99 cent auction. Um, Are you only going to bid 99 cents at it? No, no, no. I will donate more than 99 cents. Guaranteed. All right. Oh, is it my turn now? Oh, yes, it is your turn. I'm actually out of stuff. The no. rest is all yours. Like the Jelly of the Month Club, right? You could wear one pair. They'll sell. You could wear one pair and then the other. So did these just fall off of input? The Muzzy ones, um, was yeah. Muzzy still on there? No. Yeah. Uh, um, very first time catching you guys live. Oh, yay. Uh, welcome to NOLO. Um... A lot of this stuff had fallen off of inventory, which is another just good point to make that you need to do a full 
complete inventory at least once a year because there's just stuff that falls into the eBay black hole. And I don't know why. I don't know how it happens. It doesn't seem to matter if you're good till canceled or you're 30 days or if you're all auction. There's just stuff that falls off. Are you waiting for me? Are you, are you done now? Eh, maybe. Hashtag no Yes. Make it happen, Oak Brook. Make it happen. All right. Again, see this this no low auction is all about the multiples. Ties. You get not one tie, not two ties, but three ties. You know. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna contend it would still sell. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad looking tie. That's not a bad looking tie. Okay, that's this one's ugly. The middle one I thought was ugly. Th this one's ugly. I'm sorry. I don't know the brown. No, holes. that is okay. Copper, hey. copper, copper. Hands up if this is an ugly tie. <laughs> Honestly, it's ugly. All right, so it's you you could make you could make money. <laughs> you can make money selling ties. Oh yes, we diarrhea brown. Yeah, it's ugly. We just sold a tie just a couple days ago for fifty five dollars. So you get a tie. You get a tie. You get a tie. You get a tie. <laughs> we all get ties. <clears throat> yeah, they're all ugly. Yeah. Um, but again, obviously, uh, not ugly ones sell. Yeah. But brand is kind of important with ties. The tie is ugly. So all three of these are... Shahane Bars. Jahaney Barneys, which we sell the shirts. I wouldn't let my husband wear this. <laughs> Stop making fun of my ties. The first bolo I bought was a Tommy Hilfiger tie. I still have that freaking thing here. <laughs> I love ties. Can't sell them to save my life. Yeah, they're small. They don't take up a lot of room. They're not very expensive. You yeah. got to be really selective with them. Yeah. The rule, the moral of the story is be selective. And we sell this brand in shirts and sweaters. Mm -hmm. I mean, not huge money, but... They sell. They sell, and they're a pretty constant seller for us. Evidently, the not the ties. Ben will rock it. Um, Emma says that she'll buy them and make her husband wear them. Oh, that's hysterical. Um, so a lot of times with ties, if you have ties that aren't fantastic, you can lock them up. Um, don't, please. And you, you, yeah, or you could wear them all at the same time. Um, so yeah, you can lock them up and they'll sell that way. People make skirts out of them. People do crafts with them. You could just wear them like that because that's awesome. You know, so I kept this one on the outside. Because it's my favorite. You know, um, Matt had several ties that when we got married had to leave. Oh, boy. You're going to bring this up, really? Every time I get an opportunity. You know what? That's a good-looking tie. That is not a good-looking tie. Is it is not 1987 tie. anymore. Why not? I don't know, I but want it's it not. To be. It's not a good-looking tie. Um, so, yes. Ties, colors, patterns, brands, they're important. Just like in everything else. So even if you are at the bins, and I promise you part of these came from the bins, and they're less than a pound, and so it's, you know, you're there, and you're standing around waiting for the next row of bins to come out. Uh, you know, even and at you lower Goodwill, your standards. I think they're a buck at yeah. Goodwill. I still have all my 90s ties from when I first seen <laughs> I don't think you should be allowed to pick out your own ties. Right? He's not. He's not allowed to pick out his own ties anymore. I buy all of them. Um, that's just true. Don't lie to the people. I can pick out a good tie. And I would choose you. <laughs> and you. And you. I'd wear all three of you. He would. He would. Thankfully, he doesn't wear ties anymore, right? Um, yeah, just on a rare occasion. But yeah, then we have some good ones. Um... You know what? I may keep one of these and wear it to eBay open. No, you're not. We already said it's all got to go. It all has to go in the auction to charity. Whatever. Darn. Whatever. All right. So, lesson, life lesson, reselling lesson. Mm -hmm. Don't just buy any tie. 
Even if you're at the bins, don't lower your standards because your card is empty and you're standing around waiting for the next row of bins. Be selective on the brand. Super high-end brands like Hermes. If you mm -hmm. find an Hermes tie, it's mm -hmm. a buy. Yes. And they make Even some, if it's ugly. They make some butt-ugly ties. Yes. But they sell for great money. Yes, even if it's ugly. Yes. Um, Jane Barnes ties. Put them with the jellies. I would probably stay away from them. Matt, you can dress yourself for Vegas. We have to be standing next to... <laughs> No, he can't dress himself. Oh, I will. No, 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 yes, no, 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 no. Yes, I will. No, 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 he can't. Again, with my multiples. <laughs> how many, how many <laughs> of these do you have? I only have two. You only have two. I only have two. I now, wait a minute. Where are my ties? How much room do these ties, three ties take up? And how much room do those take up? You know, there was a time, should you put, but ugly in the description. <laughs> but ugly, but Natalie. Ugly sells. Poop brown and but ugly. But ugly. That's what we did wrong. That, that's what. So there was a time I thought that um, retail arbitrage was the way to go. Okay? And full disclosure, I've done well on some retail arbitrage. So. But. Yeah. Not all, clearly. Um, but just like you should look things up when you are at the bins and you're buying Muzzy DVDs, you should look stuff up, even if it's dirt cheap retail arbitrage. These are Physician's Formula, Mineral Wear. Physician's Formula? Yeah, that's what it's called. It's like something wrong with your face. Maybe. That you have to go I to need, physician. I need the Corrector Illuminator Plus Powder. For a glamorous tan glow, if you guys want a glamorous tan glow, you could have the physician's formula. That's like buying a new car from like Auto Graveyard or something. <laughs> physician's hey, formula? I don't bag on physician's formula. I like their stuff. Clearly, I bought it. <laughs> I use it. But no, it's, it's really good. To, I really do like it. Um, but yeah. Now, if you are ungated in makeup on Amazon... Maybe this is a great seller. Not ungated in makeup. Wouldn't know. Um, if you just list it on eBay, it's probably not going to sell. Shimmer strips, custom bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow. And then I thought, love those. Love Physicians Formula. Right? I do too. When it comes to drugstore makeup, Physicians Formula is one of the best. I do too. That's what I thought. So when I'm standing in the retail store... And I see these for $2. $2 each. Can't go wrong for $2. I'm you? like, you can't go wrong for $2. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, you can go wrong yes, at $2. You can. I, at least a year. At least a year I've had these. Oh, I know I've been knocking them around, finding other stuff in our closet um, to ship out. So, full disclosure, I've had these for at least a year. If you put it on your face, <laughs> then I don't think it goes bad. Full disclosure. Is there an expiration date on this? There isn't. There isn't. All right. So Love that stuff. I use the bronzer and powder every day, right? See? There you go. Bid. Often. Bid it high. All goes, it all goes to charity. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you I get not one, but, but you get two. two. Expired. Yeah, it might be. Do they expire? If it's pasty white, that's my color, right? You need a physician. Um. <laughs> There's there's no expiration date on them. I don't know. It does say since 1937 on here. Yeah, that's when they started. Uh, yep, on the copyright front. 2016. But that's when it was copyrighted. That's not when it was made. And it might have been last Christmas. I don't know. Anyway. Anyhow, full disclosure. Some makeup does have an expiration. There is no expiration date. Do they date. put expiration dates on them? It's, on some makeup, yes. But there's no liquid in this, generally. Um, what would so, happen if you put it on? <clears throat> would you, like, break out and... I don't know. Don't try. <laughs> <laughs> what rock should you get off? I'll put a little... A disclaimer on there. <laughs> I'm olive skinned. Would that work? I love physicians. Of course it would work. It would be perfect for you. I th Christmas 2017. So it was last year that I bought it. But this is only April. So, probably still good. I make no 
know. I you know what? I full disclosure here. You know, like no lying. Not lying. Just not. <laughs> Cause even at two dollars, it's bad. That's that's something we need to okay. research next time. I will look. No clue. If I get the question on Amazon when I'm listing some stuff, I could yeah, I there's no expiration date on the outside of it. So. All right, and That's this was has been sealed. Yes, it hasn't expired. Okay. No, this is not expired. All right, so this is actually not a bad item. No, it's not. And the reason I pulled it because this is going to go to charity. It's going to a great cause. So I wanted to give. And something. I don't want to relist it. <laughs> Just tell the truth today. I'm all about the truth you're, tonight. You're a bean drawer. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to get something that was that was going to be good. So yes. that if you're going to buy this and resell it. Then you could actually bid. Yes, our last, here are, these are our last two. So we uh, actually did do it. How, however. eBay the, decided. The caveat is, it's got to be on the site to sell. I yeah. mean, let's all be honest. If it's yeah. not on the site, it's never going to sell. Yeah. Ebay decided. Well, it's not. Wasn't on the site. And this one we've had for at least a year, and I'm gonna guess this has not been listed for at least six months. So I've got a full suit with the pants. It's a full suit, and it's tan. It's good. Made in Italy. There. <laughs> and it is. Drum roll, please. While I unbutton this. Yeah, you know I can't do that. I have no rhythm. No rhythm. If you are going to eBay Open and you see me there, don't ask me to dance. I have no rhythm. It is a, and I'm sure this is an extremely expensive brand. Oops. Are you going to try to pronounce it? Or no. Just, no. No. It's, it's E-R-E-D-I Pisano. However, one it's, of the caveats why I bought it, it's a Laura Piana fabric, which is a super high-end fabric. Um... Just soft. It's the Zealander Dream. Yeah, it's really soft. It's merino wool. Yeah. So, and it's got the pants. So, the one thing with buying suits, don't buy just a suit coat. They don't sell. Um, I was going to see if I could see what size it was. So, it's got the pants. It's a full suit. I don't know. It's going to fade. Probably, I'm going to guess. I don't know. At least... 75 50 75 dollars yeah yeah if, if it more. was actually listed if it was actually listed yeah but yeah. um if you don't do inventory on your suits like somebody didn't uh yes yeah, usually very good with that fabric um yeah if you don't do inventory on your suits like somebody didn't then um they just sit were you pointing at me no i did both of us so yeah you guys can look up do check a flip see if this is on there but yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful suit. So yeah, no flaws. great Laura Piana, no flaws. Ooh, the pockets are still sewn shut. Pockets are still sewn shut, so Yay for that. Like your content, good people. Um, well, we're honest, you gotta give us that. Um so yeah, it's just one of those things when we did inventory last, we did on all of our uh bins that are in our garage that mm -hmm. have letters and numbers on them. But our suits are stored inside because of the fabric and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and they didn't get inventoried. Yeah. And so... I... Truth be told, yeah, you got to check your inventory. you got to make sure you have stuff listed as a business owner. It's your responsibility. We were obviously irresponsible. And... Now you can benefit. And we've been storing it for free. So... <laughs> <coughs> yes. Um... This lap, what does it mean when the pockets are sewn shut? It just means that nobody opened them yet. Yeah. Most, uh, so when it comes from the factory, the pockets will be sewn shut. Generally, a guy will open them up. This next one comes with a picture. It's really. And I want to say a picture says a thousand words about this. It's and not I even that old. This dress has been listed a month. I'm blaming this on Emma. Emma? I'm Emma, blaming, are you still in the chat? I'm blaming this one on Emma, because I think you were out to lunch with Emma. Oh, when you were taking the pictures of it? When I was taking it? the picture. And usually I ask for help. That's true. You no, do normally ask for help. 
And I don't think you were there to help. So okay. Emma, it's your fault. I don't know if she's still here or not. Um, so this dress is, the brand is actually called um, Meg Shop. Which if you look them up, the comps look pretty good on them. Um, it's just, but it's just a basic dress. It's got pockets, it's black. Um, really kind of a cute dress. Size extra small. That is, that is, how, is that how you write the description for it? It's got pockets, it's black, just a cute dress. Yeah, pretty much. Um, extra small, which is important to note. Because this is the picture that Matt took of it. And if anybody... I couldn't get it to lay right on a mannequin. I'm sorry. If anybody, I messed with that. I messed with that stupid dress. If anybody has seen the robots movie for kids, the, there's a character in there called Aunt Fanny. And all I can think of every time I see this picture is Aunt Fanny. <laughs> and what extra small size girl oh, wants to be built like that? You know, what extra size, <laughs> extra small girl sees that and goes, oh yeah, buddy, that's my dress. <laughs> so, uh, all right. <laughs> I right. guess, please, please the, save yourself. Hell no, the, right? <laughs> there, there's a lot of women in this chat, so I'm going to try not to offend. What is up with your stupid fashion? This shirt's supposed to be flowing. This is lagging look. Dress, not so much. Maybe it was a lagging look dress. Maybe it was a lagging look dress. I mean, but come on. just in the You guys are so freaking complicated. <laughs> Why? And you can see that it's I... It's lag and look. That's that, lag and look. No. If you are watching Your this... Your hips have room to breathe. If you are watching this, that is not the definition of lag and look. Do not listen to him. Do you know what this would look like with those jellies? It would be amazing. It would be the bomb. It I'm would just, be the bomb. I'm just saying. Yes. Um... So clearly, I did not ask him to retake the pictures, which is normally what I would do. Normally, send it to the booty Kardashian. <laughs> See, they they would rock it. Normally, I would ask him to retake the pictures because clearly that that is not how that dress is supposed to lay. But for whatever reason, I just said I, I say it is. I say that's the way it's supposed to lay. I just said screw it, and I listed it. Let me just say, um, we don't want how our hips to breathe. How many watches were on that? Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> that um, is not a lot. When I was... So I list everything for seven days, and then I watch the traffic numbers on them. The um, Aunt Fanny <laughs> dress didn't get a lot of views. No watchers. Look at that. So, um, yes, when we were going through things for our NOLO tonight... So, so those of you... Who have your husbands take your photographs for you, supervise them. When they're doing women's clothing. Sometimes they need a little supervision. We need, we need a little supervision. And your pictures matter. Because even if it is a good brand, it's a good item, pictures matter. I'm sure I was mad. You were mad because I was out to lunch you and you were home lunch. working. I'm working and she's out to lunch. Darn it, she's going to pay. And it's, it's a cute dress. It's beautiful. It's a lag and look dress. It's a lag and look. <laughs> um, so, yes. So, the Aunt Fanny dress will also be up for auction. Which, if you would take... Keyword, deep pockets. <laughs> deep pockets. It's really good pockets. And any girl watching knows that that was the issue. That when the pockets don't lay flat against the mannequin, mm -hmm. they'll make it puff out like that. We just know that. Where were you when I took this picture? Out to lunch, clearly. <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel for my wife's store. I'm rebuilding it while she's on maternity leave. Oh, Chicago flipper. Please ask for help. Mm -hmm. Learn from my mistakes. Please, please. If it doesn't look right... It's probably not. Might have to stick to shoes and jeans. Yes. And then wait until you get to the jeans. And is it boot cut? Is it flare? Is it skinny? Is it low rise? Is it mid rise? Is it high rise? 
Is it dark wash? Is it distressed? You know what? Is it men's or is it women's? I mean, some of them are hard to tell just with that. Yes. To hold all the money, right? So, yeah. You could put all those Jane Byers ties in them. That's true. And no heels because those are... Women's fashion is absolutely confusing. I totally agree. And the size is never the same. Like a small is not a small in another brand. A four isn't always a four. Yeah, my husband would be the same. So I will say boyfriend cut, right? Yeah. What the hell is boyfriend cut? <laughs> what the heck is boyfriend cut? <laughs> Never mind, I'll stick to toys and men's clothes. What, what is boyfriend cut? It's roomier all the way down and then like you roll the bottoms. It's actually really cute. And why is that called boyfriend cut? Because they're cut like more like men's jeans. Like you stole your boyfriend's jeans. Oh, I thought those were shirts. No, we steal those too. Um, it would be great for playing pennies at the casino. <laughs> you could just, yes. Yes, and Loretta's husband is great with electronics and car parts. And I have to say, in Matt's defense, 99.9% .9 of the women's clothing, he does perfectly. With this little caveat, if he's unsure of how an item goes, he'll take pictures with every different variation he can come up with. You know, some of the stuff that you buy, I don't even think you know how it goes on. Oh, no. Sometimes I'm just, sometimes I buy it with that thought, oh, Matt, I'll have fun with this. Good yeah, luck with that. Right, right. Yeah. Here you go, Matt. Have fun with this. It's got snaps <laughs> here and here and over here. We had what that All Saints that like wrapped around his shoulders. And... Look at you. You talk about me talking with my hands. Well, how else am I supposed to explain it? I mean, the thing. Yes. I, so... I spent probably a half hour photographing that one. Because and of then all the I showed variations. him that on All Saints, there's a little style name on the inside tag, and you just Google it. Oh, whatever. It. You and your smart answers. And, and then it just shows you how it's supposed to go. Um, I listed a junior size as a women's on a pair of jeans. I'm clueless. Yeah, it, it really does get a little bit, a little bit iffy. I have a rule. If I can't figure out how to get it on, you shouldn't wear it. <laughs> Not true. That All Saints sold really well. Well, you got that one All Saints dress that was like a runway dress or something. Yeah, and... it did really, really well. Um, so, yeah. But the idea behind NOLO videos and us doing this is to say everybody does it. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, you need to start trying on the mer merchandise. Yes. International hand signal for frustration, right? That's him like going. And you should hear him then. <laughs> There's a reason why, like, people say, oh, you guys should, like, do a live, like, while you're photographing and stuff. Many colorful words were spoken that day. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I had a Victoria's Secret swimsuit called The Wrap that I couldn't quite figure out. Yeah. I did Google it. Yeah, so then you can Google the image and see it and then know how it's supposed to go. Where were you last week or two weeks ago when I photographed that? Out to lunch. Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I have many sentence answers coming to my Sentence answers. I can never find the photos of items with the style name. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I have an issue with that also. But well, well, all, well, wait a minute. All so Saints. First, first you said, it's so easy. Look it all up. Saints and now does have the name. And What brand was that thing? That dress all that was Meg's shop. Yeah. Well, you were just. <laughs> that you just had to know. Hmm. You should have just known it was the pockets. Interesting. Um. So yes, Google fanny fanny <laughs> dress. <laughs> yes, if you have seen the robots movie, then you get all the amp. Yes, I just took lots of hard goods to Value Village, paid next to nothing, just not winners. I can tell you what not to buy now. Yeah, you. Oh, we lost our picture. Um. It just, it happens. You buy stuff, and maybe it was good before, and now it's just not so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, things is, I mean, that ex-officio shirt, I mean, two years ago, we couldn't keep anything ex-officio in yeah. stock. Not so much now. Not so much. And, I mean, it's like that with a lot of brands. I mean... Mm -hmm. Yeah, things come and go, trends change, well, brands and get saturated. And some brands, you do well in certain things. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then certain sizes, certain, certain sizes, colors. certain colors, but 
you just can't buy that brand and expect to make money in everything. It's got to yes. be spit very spe- specific. It has to fit very specific criteria. Yes. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, yeah. Don't You can't become brand blind. When you're going through racks, I think a lot of times we get brand blind and you're like, ooh, that's a brand I know. Throw it in the cart. Becoming brand blind winds you up with no lows. Well, and, and that's another thing. We have that. It's got to fit two out of three criteria. Yeah, it's got to have at least two things going for it. So it's got to be on, on 90% of items. Mm-hmm. And Hermes... Doesn't matter. Buying it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but 90% of items, yes, it has to have two things going for it. A brand is not enough. So right. it's got to be a good brand and a good size, a good brand and a good style, style, color, those kinds of things. Has to have two things going for it yeah, in it order to buy it. It can't just be the brand. I mean, unless it's a very high-end like Hermes or Stefano Ricci or... Yeah. Yeah. There are a handful of brands that, that we can... You could, but you those... Could buy aren't the things that we're finding every well, day. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, we don't... Yeah. I'll just go out to the store and find a $500... Um, so the jellies were hot when you bought them at the bins, but by the time you got home, they were out of... Yes, that's how quickly it happened. In that 45 minutes, they Were, had gotten out of style. Weren't those, like, in fashion in the 90s or something? That would be, like, the 80s. Oh, yeah. 80s. And price, yeah. I have some Nolas I can send your way from my um <laughs> tuition... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It... Just happens. I will buy anything Tom Ford and Gucci. Yes. Yeah, Tom Ford. That's, Tom that's Ford, another one. Gucci, as long as they're as long as they're authentic in the cart. But yeah, if it's Bowden or if it's what Chico's is a good one. Yeah. That you yeah. can't just buy any Chico's. Did you f- sell your scrubbing bubbles shower cleaner? Yes, within just a couple of days for like a hundred dollars. I found one today. Yay! Yay. Oh, that's awesome. Cheap and new with tags can't be those two criteria. No, as evidenced by the Mets shirt, by the Jelly's shoes, clearly at some point in my shopping, I thought cheap and new with tags were the two criteria. No. Well, didn't you buy a bunch of Minnesota Vikings? I sold all those, though. Did you? I did. I did, I did, I did. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 I sold those. I think I'll have to go out in the garage and look. Um, if there are, then they're not listed. Because I sold all the ones oh, that are listed. Well, whose fault is that? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to our life. Um, so that is it. Those are all of our NOLOs for tonight. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. That's what it is. We all make mistakes. Um, and... Really, there are items in there that oh, there's, can absolutely be sold for profit. Yeah, the suit and, well, we can't say for profit because we don't know what the auction will go for. But well, if you get true. it for 99 cents, definitely it sell for profit. profit. Hopefully um, they will go for more than that. So, but we will lot that all up. Everything. Yes, all of that. So you get a suit, jellies. A hat, That's gonna be the most brand, covers. <laughs> random lot ever. A dress. Yes, yes. It will be Cindy and Matt's No Low charity auction. Yep, and it all goes for cure for childhood cancer. Cure childhood cancer out of Atlanta, Georgia, in Little Grayson's honor. Tamara Luthrop's grandson who mm-hmm. is fighting leukemia right now. Yeah. Um. So, yes, yeah, so all proceeds will go directly to that charity a box of poop. No, it is a no, box of Oak treasures, Oak Brook. This is going for it. Well, and that Laura Piana suit. Yeah. I'd buy it again. Yeah, the Meg Shop, I would buy again. Yeah, I'd buy um, that again. The jellies, not so much. I would buy that Mets t shirt again. I promise you I would. I. It buckles my mind. Why? What is the fascination with the Mets shirt? I don't know. That is, this is so sweet of you guys. Uh, Tamara, Lou, we we so appreciate you being part of the community and you and Emery and hanging out with us. And I know you, to be serious for a moment, um, really help so many people and encourage so many people. And so really the least we could do. Yeah, this is, is a community make, and we all need to yeah. kind of band together bond together and yeah and i know that that's other. a charity that has helped grayson so yeah, yeah, absolutely so. happy to do it um and like i said if the auction does not sell we will personally make a donation to cure childhood cancer 
So And we'll send you the box of milk. <coughs> and then we will send you the box of milk. You can just live our pain. So yeah. But the witty, suit and witty. the dress you can make money at. Yes, and you could wear the makeup, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, you guys. Um, have a great night. We're going to put this up on YouTube? This will be on YouTube? Of course, if I'm telling you this right now, you've already watched it. So why on earth you'd want to watch it again beyond me? But Maybe you do. We're putting it up on YouTube. It'll and, be up um, on YouTube. The auction will start tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, run for seven days. Yep. And it so. all goes to charity. Yep. We don't keep a penny of it. In fact, no. we've donated the cost of goods for that. Yep. And there's some decent stuff in there. Yes. And there's some junk in there. And, and there's some makeup junk. that could give Love you, you blemishes. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Check it before you wear it. <laughs> so, everyone have a great night. Great weekend. Thank you for Thanks for coming us. and hanging out with us, guys. Hopefully you guys have fun. Yes. We like these. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.